So on Seeking Sister Wife, Marcus Epps starts dating. He wants to get a third wife, and India, the second wife, doesn't like it. The Merrifields continue their journey with Leah, and there are some boundaries set. And the Joneses have found a new potential sister wife, and that's what I want to talk about today. Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Sheality TV, and today I want to talk about... Uh, Seeking Sister Wife Season 4. We've all been waiting anxiously for Season 4. Finally, it started. We're on, I believe, Episode 3. Let's start. I want to start by talking about the Epps family. So, like I said in the intro, Marcus starts dating because he wants to bring in a third wife. I don't know. This, You know what? As twisted as this sounds, this family are pretty much the only ones that I have any respect for. Because, and hear me out, Marcus doesn't try to excuse what he wants with religion, right? He essentially, all he said was, you know, he started dating India while he was still married to Tara and he just didn't want to let her go. So they figured they would try and make it work. That is probably the most honest answer we've gotten since the Winders, right? And I really like the Winders. I'm kind of mad that they're not back, but M Marcus wants to have his cake and he wants to have as much cake as he can possibly get as he as he actually tries to bring in a third wife and like I said India doesn't like it so he goes on the date and he seems to get along well with this woman and she's pretty in the whole deal India and Tara put together a basket for them and she's all impressed because you know it, it looks like they're actually want to participate like they actually are trying to um welcome her in a way but their date actually goes well Although, I don't think that it's going to work because she seems too independent for Marcus. Do you know what I mean? I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Not much else happens with them, except for the fact that India is having a problem thinking about the fact that Marcus could fall in love with this woman, right? Anyways, let's move on to the Merrifields. So Garrick and Danielle continue their journey with Leah, okay? At the beginning of the episode, Garrick and Roberta are still on their tear-filled FaceTime call, and it is truly puke-worthy. Like, I had to fast-forward past it. Leah and um, Danielle get into a conversation about what the, their boundaries are, and Danielle says that, that no sex. And Leah's like, she, she says when she's being interviewed, you know, off to the side, she says that Danielle is gatekeeping, but she told Danielle... I'm not trying to sleep with your husband. So which is it? Either Danielle's a gatekeeper or um, Leah's not trying to sleep with her husband. But I don't know. I feel like if, if Leah's not trying to sleep with her husband, what does it matter whether or not Danielle is gatekeeping, right? Because you don't want him anyway. And for the record, there is no physical attraction from Garrick to Leah. It's just not there. She says in the kitchen, like they're, they're cooking in the kitchen, right? Like they're barbecuing, she's seasoning the meat or whatever. And she says there's that he's not gropey, right? He's not gropey. Can you see me with the, the air quotes? Gropey is the word she used. And she's flattered by the fact that she's not, he's not gropey, sorry. And I'm thinking, um, girl, the fact that he's not gropey means that he is not attracted to you because he was all up in Roberta's goodies. He is not attracted. There's no attraction between these two. She might be attracted to him because she said, oh, maybe later we can get a kiss. But I don't I, I don't see Garrick going in for the kiss. It just doesn't feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it's there. Do you know what I mean? Am I the only one thinking this? Garrick is not attracted to Leah like he was to Roberta. And like I said in my last video, I think it's primarily because Leah's not there for the same reason that Bert was there. Leah is a central casting hire. She's there so that they can keep collecting that check. She's And she ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Not before the end of the season. Definitely not before Bert gets there. I feel like that's entirely why she's there. Because they need the check and hey, she needs a check. Why not? Between them, what are they making? They're making two to three grand per episode right? Between the two of them, um, Garrick and Danielle. So shit, why not just get a third and see if we can't keep making that money? So they get into another conversation about um, what their expectations are of Leah. 
And, uh, you know, they essentially, it sounds like they want another stay at home wife, right? They want someone to stay at home and cook, help Danielle cook and clean. And Leah's like, um, bitch, I work eight to 12 hour shifts at the hospital. Okay. She didn't say bitch. That's me. But, um, Leah has no plans of sitting at home cooking and cleaning. And she says, I, you know, if I'm going to eat, I'll eat at work or I eat on my way back or I eat on my way to work. But, you know, odds are I won't be eating at home a lot. So she's not planning on cooking a lot at home. She's not planning on cleaning a lot at home because she's not there, right? For them, this is a problem. For um, Garrick and Danielle, this is a problem. So I don't know, you guys. I'm just feeling like, yeah, they're going to try and drag this one out so that she can make as many checks as she can or so that... I mean, now that they're all, they're actually on the fourth season, I don't suspect that they're going to pull them off because, you know, it doesn't work, work out with her. They'll just start looking for another one, but nothing real big happens with them. Let's move on to the Joneses. We haven't seen them really since the beginning of the season. And, you know, they kind of rehash how they got onto the show or why they're looking for a sister wife. And they are, or Sidian, the Joneses are Sidian and Tasha, and Sidian is starting to date or has been been dating a Filipino woman that he's dating um, long distance. So the way he describes this woman, I, I'm sorry, I don't like this guy because we, yes, we all think, oh, you know what, these guys are doing it. Every one of them is doing it just for themselves. The only one that I have any kind of respect for is Marcus Epps because he straight up says this is what I want, right? Garrick is trying to play the religion card to make what he's doing okay, and we all know that that's bullshit. What's his nose? Uh, Sidian used to do the same thing, right? He They had some kind of a religious aspect, and now he's saying it's just because, you know, he likes, well, Tasha said, you know, Sidian hasn't said this, he never says this, but he really loves women, and then he says, you know, he likes though there's a certain warmth that that women add to a household and he likes that and the he figures the more of it he can get the better so okay whatever but he starts talking about this um woman that he's dating from the philippines long distance and they've tried to meet up twice and it's fallen through twice and i think these two should give it up i don't think they're gonna find a sister wife i i don't know why maybe it's because they're too boring i don't know they've tried to meet up twice it's fallen through twice and so he is trying to decide whether or not he should go to her instead of her come to the U.S. to visit, right? Or meet halfway or whatever it is that they've tried to do that's fallen through. So the way that he's described this woman, he's, he's, he's literally gushing. He's gushing. He's like, uh, you know, she's so beautiful. Her, she has a beautiful face. She's got beautiful hair. She has a beautiful body. And I think that she's totally out of my league. And there's poor Tasha sitting there like, um excuse me, what am I, chopped liver? She literally sits there and looks at him like, excuse me, dude, WTF. Like, what? Sidian, I feel like Sidian, he can say, uh, you know, the warmth of a woman all he wants. Sidian is in Marcus's boat, right? Sidian wants to have his cake and eat it too, but ain't nobody looking to test any of Sidian's cake. Nobody wants any part of Sidian. And I don't know how many times, at least two times in the past, They've tried to get themselves another sister wife. Is it two or three? And all of them have fallen through. They've all decided after the first or second date that, you know what? This is probably not really for me. I'm just going to take my shit and go. And they bounced. So I don't know what's going to happen with the Jones family and uh, this new um, lady from the Philippines. She's actually um, some kind of a pageant queen, ex-pageant queen or whatever. And uh, Sidian is like beside himself with this woman. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the three families that I'm covering in this Seeking Sister Wife video. Again, and as usual, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.